you have spoken to the local Muslim community. I did have a phone call um, with the president of the Kortha Muslim Religious As Association this morning, um, and have also and extended, you know, uh, condolences and asked if there's anything that the city can do. And have also spoken with um, the the deputy chief of police here, uh, looking at having some extra security at the mosque today. In particular, Fridays are are sort of the big. Um, day for for people coming to the mosque. Right. right. So there'll be um, certainly some some added security just to make sure people feel safe, because uh, people should feel safe when they're going to a place of worship. D do you d d d d Peter Brat Mosque had an incident. I think it was probably now two years ago. Yeah, maybe even more than that. Oh. Yeah. H has that ever come to a conclusion? Has anybody been charged? For Not that? to my knowledge. But. The amazing effect of that was it brought the community to the mosque's aid, did it not? Absolutely, yeah. They raised um, more money than they than they needed the, for it to to repair what the damage that was done, and then and, and then they donated that the extra money back to I think it was the YWCA. So um, yeah, like I said, I, I spoke with um, uh, Magdi Kumar this morning. I spoke with I also spoke with Minister Monsef. Um, about that as well as the uh, police as I said and so yeah I'm sure that it'll be one of those events too which you know it, out of these tragedies it shows how much our community does come right, together right. and and, um, and that's what Peterborough is, is known for and we're, we're good at supporting each other through hard times so no, well that, that's very good it, the surprising aspect of this it, that it was in New Zealand yeah which I would have thought was a relatively safe country but it's yeah. I mean, it's hard when you see sort of hatred on the rise, kind of all over right, the world. Right. Um, it's really unfortunate. 